This is mad. I think we might just have to go straight into another one, my darlings. I don't know what to say to you yet.
put you. Oh, can you put the lights on them all more? I want to see every. Oh, oh my God. Oh my God. Keep the lights on. Keep the lights on. I want one of you to come up and say hello to me. Uh, you. I see you. Yes, you, my darling, in the in the blue puffer jacket. Yeah, you. Come in, my darling. Liam, can you get that lovely little girl? Come up. Oh, where's the staircase? Is there a stair? Oh shit! I've got to lift you up. Oh, here we go. So Glastonbury means the world to me. I'm not even lying. I'm not just saying that because I'm here in that you know, with you lot. I've always wanted to do this my whole life. I've just been too scared. I've been coming to Glastonbury since I was your age, my darling girl. Hello. <laughs> What's your name? Lila. Hi, Lila. How old are you? Ten. Who are you here with? Uh, my family and some of my friends. Hi, family and friends. Hi. How long have you been here? What day did you get here? Uh, we got in Friday. Have you seen anyone you like? Who have you seen that you like? Um... Have you seen anyone yet? Bastille I like. You like Bastille? Any of you lot see Bastille? Who else? Anyone else? Um, we saw Jess Glynn. Oh yeah, I like her. Did you see her? Oh, oh you all like her? What's your favourite colour? Pink. Pink? Nice, mine's green. Let's go over here so we can get a selfie. I oh, know, let's get... Cause I'm going to get some more of you up later. Where have they gone, my darling? Where are you, Mum? Can you do you want to take a picture of us up here? Unless your battery's dead. Where are they? Here we go. Yay! Thanks for coming up, my darling. Let me walk you back to the stage. Who are you looking forward to seeing tomorrow? Um, I don't know. You don't know? Oh, I think I'm looking forward to seeing Coldplay. You gonna watch Coldplay? I saw them recently in Barcelona. I don't know how they managed to get better and better each time. Right, go back to that exact spot, all right? Let her back in there. She's obviously been here all day. Right. How are you all down the front? Are you okay? Have any of you had to do a piss, like, down the front? Yeah. Have any of you had to do a shit? Someone's pointing and goes, someone over there, one of you's had a shit. Is that piss in that cup? Well, don't fucking throw that at me. Don't throw that at me. Do you know how rock and roll I am? Not very, but the BBC had to give a warning about my potty mouth. Before I went on, I bet Muse didn't get that. I bet Muse didn't get a warning beforehand. Right, so obviously I'm nervous and I'm scared, hence why I'm talking at a million miles an hour. I would like to thank you all for coming out and watching my show. For the last like two or three days, I've been like spontaneously bursting into tears. I'll be really excited one minute and then I think it's the end of the world. And um, I was literally expecting to come on to like a soggy hay bale, like blowing in the fucking wind. So thank you, you've made my night and everything, my life, whatever. So I'm sure you're aware, I bet you 50 quid I'll fall over at some point tonight, by the way. So, I'm sure you're aware that I don't really have many, like, upbeat, happy songs, which I think is why a lot of people moaned about me coming tonight, but fuck you, they're obviously not watching, so... Whatever. And, um... But I do have a couple. I have a couple of songs that sound happy and sound upbeat. Um, so I'm going give to give one to you now, but after that, it does get miserable. But let's just be miserable together, all right? Let's embrace it. I'm here and I ain't going nowhere for, like, an hour and a half, so... This is Walter Under the Bridge.
don't mind if I talk lots, do you? You won't mind if I talk. Okay, good. Are you, are you having a good weekend so far? Did lots of you come on Thursday? Well, I didn't stop hearing about a lot of you coming on the Wednesday and causing all that traffic jam, you lot. I, um, I've, I've been here a lot of times, a lot, a lot of times. I've lost myself a lot of times here, if you know what I mean. <clears throat> yep. And uh, I'm so honoured and thrilled to be here on the Saturday night because I have had some of the best times of my life on a Saturday night here at Glastonbury. I really, really have. Moments in my life that I'll like, remember forever, and obviously this one tops them all. But um, that's why I'm so, um, I'm so excited for you, because after this, hopefully you're all drunken off your face because it will make my set a bit better. But also, <laughs> after this, you're, like, some of you are going to have like, the most incredible, incredible things happen to you. I'm really, really excited for you. I am. For real, truly. Go and have a little explore. This ain't it. Anyone who ain't ventured outside of this bit. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. That's the right laugh. So, this next one that I'm going to do for you, I'm going to do my Bond song for you. I'm going to do Skyfall for you. And I am... Um, good. I'm glad you're happy about that. Thank God. <laughs> and uh, they asked me to do this uh, years ago now, obviously, because I did it years ago. But I kindly said no the first time because I thought, well, you know, things have gone so well on my second album, maybe the world will just be like, fuck off. And I'm sure a few of you right now are like, fuck off. But um, I, so I said no, and then like, inside I was dying. So they asked me again. So I decided to do it. And um, I'm so pleased I did. It was so much fun to read a script. And... Um, and like be undercover because it was very top secret, had my name all over the script and all that. I felt a bit like James Bond myself. And then I, um, I, did, I didn't do a video because I was like nine and a half months pregnant and about to like drop any day. That's why, I, but also I didn't like Halle Berry. Who wants to like, be singing a Bond song if you don't like, like, look like Halle Berry? So that's the main reason for no video. But um, ta-da, this, this can be it, all right? This is Skyfall at Worthy Farm. I can't believe how many of you there are. Truly. Oh my, oh, I'll come over. Hi. 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 Oh, look. Oh my God, I'm on the fucking side screen at Glastonbury. Hey. <laughs> Hi. I'm so, Hi. Can, I keep, can you keep following me, Spotlight? Oh my God. Hi. Hi. There's Michael Evis. Thanks for having me, sir. Thanks for having me. I love you. I see you all down there and all the way back there. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I've got so many stories to tell you. Sorry. Totally stealing your thunder. I've got so many stories to tell you, but I, just, I don't know how to fucking say anything. Oh, here we go. Oh, well, that's a bit dangerous. How was that, how was that saxophone player earlier just wandering around? Hi, everyone at home. Hi. I watched Muse last night at home. Had a Chinese. Did some washing up. Watch Muse. Did you lot all watch Muse? They're just ridiculous. They're so amazing. It's insane. Anyway, I loved it at home. You lot loved it here, didn't you? Yeah. Good. Me too. So, by chance, is there anyone from Tottenham here? Oh, fuck off. Shut the front door. Are you really from Tottenham? Are you really? Well, wherever you're from, this song's for you. But really, we all wish we could just live here, really, don't we? And this could be our hometown. Here you go, my darlings. Get ready and smile for me at the end, all right? Because you'll be on the TV. All right, this is hometown. So I'm going to do a little stripped-down version of one of my favourite songs off of 21. And uh, it's a bit of a country vibe to it, made a bit more country by the arrangement we're going to do. But there's an amazing American singer-songwriter called Alison Krauss. Have any of you heard of her? She's like one of my favourites, I'm like obsessed with her. She did a wicked record with Robert Plant called Raising Sand, T-Bone Burnett. And if you haven't heard it, honestly, trust me, if you want to, <laughs> listen to it. Um, but this was like, this is me and my Alison Krauss moment, begging, wishing to be her. Um, this is Don't You Remember, you look ready? All right, let's do it. No fine, no 
anyone in your life that you would rather not be in it? That's impossible that there's only so few of you. And you look at the back, you must have someone in your life that you wish weren't in it. I know. I've had a lot, hence all my albums that are all quite bitter and moody and bitchy. But I am, um, there was one, I mean obviously it was quite a while ago now because it took me a very long time to write this album. Um, I had a baby but also I was just, I guess I was being a bit lazy. But I, um, there was this one that kept trying to come into like my personal atmosphere, my personal space, try to fuck everything up. And I was like, nah bruv, nah. I ain't having that. I might as well be married and I have a kid, so why are you trying to like come back? <laughs> you live with your mother. <laughs> Can't keep up with me. So, this is for you and him. Sorry baby, I, you know, blah blah blah, but anyway. I am, um, for any of you and those skaggy people that try to do that to us, this is for us, all right? This is for you and me. This is Send My Love. I'm going to do this one down here because I'm closer to him. Hang on a minute. Are you going to sing it for me? This was all you, none of it. You put your hands on, on my body and told me. Tell me you were ready for the big one, for the big jump. I'd be your last love, everlasting you and me. I see ya. Mm -hmm. That was what. 
Sorry, I'm a bit out of breath. Start again, I'm out of breath. It's all that dance tonight, I'm fucking used to it. I'd rather sing better for you, sorry. Right, I'm ready. Also an excuse to wipe my sweaty top lip. Let's go. Everybody tells me it's about time that I moved on That I need to learn to lighten up and learn how to be young But my heart is a valley, it's so shallow and man-made I'm scared to death if I let you in that you'll see I'm just a fake Sometimes I feel lonely in the arms of your touch but I know that's just me Cause nothing ever is enough When I was a child I grew up by the river Lee There was something in the water Now that something's in me 
back Shit, I take wrong But the reeds are growing out of my fingertips I can't go back To the river Fuck up a song is Glastonbury headline set, wouldn't you agree? Perfect time. I will. Shit. Hi, I'm coming down, I'm coming down. Oh, oh, oh thanks. Is that for me? Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> thank you, darling. Hang on, I've got shoes on. I'm gonna have to put my new friend down here, I'm afraid. Here you go, front row though, my darling. Oh, that's better, I can see ya. Got your hat on. I'm not gonna do the whole song in it though. How are you? I, oh look, I'm in the flags. I don't like being that far away from you. I can't see you, hi. Last night, when I was watching, um, when I was watching it on TV, you know, they shoot it from back there, you know, for the shots on the TV. And even when I was watching it, I was like, oh yeah, where am I going to stand? Where am I going to stand? It's, it's so mind blowing that I'm up here. And thank you for letting me have this little stage here. Thank you so much, Glastonbury. Right. So, are you ready? It's going to be fun. This one. I'm expecting a lot. I'll try my best not to fuck it up. Oh my God, you look like Brian Harvey from E17. We've got the same shirt on and everything. Oh my God, right, Brian? Brian, yeah. So, this song kicked off a whole other level of my life. You're nice and muddy if you've fallen over. I want you to sing with me loud, all right? I want us to jump as well because that's the only opportunity that I have with this one. This is Rolling in the Deep, Glastonbury. Why are you crying? Why are you crying? I saw three flares then, never in my wildest dreams would I thought I'd see a flare. Someone shot something up in the sky. 
Oh my God, where's your other willy? You've only got one willy, where's the other willy gone? It fell off your foot. Don't put her down, don't put her down. That was amazing. That confetti's got writing on it, but I guess it's probably gonna get a bit muddy. That was amazing. Hi. Where are you all from? Don't you pull me off. Where are you all from? Where are you from? Stoke on Trent. Anyone else from Stoke on Trent? Hang on a minute. We're one big happy family here. Stop your booing. Where are you from? Ashbourne, Derbyshire. Ashbourne, Derbyshire. Ashbourne, Ashbourne. A few of them. Where are you from? Coventry. Coventry. I'll have no fucking boo in the Marsh show. We have a laugh. After what went on the other day, you want to boo each other? Where are you from? Holloway. Where are you from? From Reading. Where are you from? The one with all the lights on. Yorkshire. It's from Yorkshire. Stop with your booing. Got South Africa over there. You look lovely, you look lovely. So, you look like I'm, like I'm a footballer. I don't like that kind of finger pointing. So, I'm obviously going to do a ballad for you now. And, um, and I know it's Saturday, and I know you might not have that much phone charge, but when I was here last year, there was like a whole building where you could go and charge a phone, which I thought was a bit weird, but I guess they use it. So if you have a torch or a light, could you put it on for me? That's it. Keep going. Oh, shit, it's going to look fucking amazing if you all do it. Come on, keep going. Keep going, keep going, keep going, my darlings, keep going! Oh, I could actually cry. Right, this song, right, it's uh, off of my first album and it's actually a cover. Do you have any Bob Dylan fans here? When I first heard this song, it like broke my heart and fixed it all at the same time. And um, I want to dedicate this to my granddad, um, who I mean, he, he's dead, obviously, but he probably would have died anyway if he'd ever seen me do this. And you look amazing, oh my God. Oh. And I want to sing this for him, but I want to sing it for you and anyone that you lot have ever loved, all right? It's a bit weird at the moment, stuff that's going on for all of us. Um, and we need to look after each other, all right? So this is Make You Feel My Love. Oh, you look amazing. Happy Pride, everybody, as well. When the rain is blowing in your face And the whole world is on your case I could offer you
Because she's crying her eyes out. Come on, my darling. Do you want to meet me at the bottom of the stairs? Here, get her to walk round here. Come round here, my darling. Come on, come up to the big stage. You want your hat back, my darling? Do you want your hat back? Oh, hang on a minute. Oh, I can't see round there. Yeah, come on to this big stage. I'm gonna take you back. Let's take the big one. Let me give him his hat back. So, give, give it a quick selfie. Go on then. <laughs> Hey, my darling, come on up. Oh, look, might as well put some horse shit down here, isn't it? <laughs> What's your name? Maria. Oh my God, I knew your name was going to be Maria. I swear to God, I fucking knew it was going to be Maria. Who are you here with? Who's that man down there? It's my boyfriend. What's his name? John. Hi, John. Why are you so emotional? We're from Brazil. You're from Brazil! Yay! Did you come all the way here for the festival? Yep, we've planned uh, our whole trip around the world to this moment. Oh, you did? Um, whereabouts in Brazil are you from? We're whereabouts in Brazil? São Paulo. Oh, nice, nice, nice. And um, how old are you? I'm 26. And when did you get here? When did you and John get to Glastonbury? On Wednesday. On Wednesday? Oh, nice. What's been your favourite moment so far that's happened? Um, we've um, seen... <laughs> a whole lot of bands. Who's been your favourite, though? Not me. I'm, not, I'm not trying to egg her on to say me. I want to know. I haven't been here. I'm in the tight spot right now. <laughs> but um, we've seen... Can you remember, or are you just a bit flabbergasted? Not really. Shall we, um, have you got your phone? Oh, you got your phone? You should have filmed that. Right, let's have a selfie. Get, get your selfie up. Come on, do you know how to do it? Here we go. Oh, right. here we go. Ready? Ready? Do you want me to do it? Me big nails in the way, here we go. Oh my God, I just burped. <laughs> I'll see you later, Maria. John, make sure she gets her spot back. If you follow Liam there, if you follow Liam, my darling. Here we go. I had a dirty burger before I came on, that's why. Hi. Is it good news or bad news, Richard? Okay, I need your help, everybody. I'm going to hand you over to Richard. This is my production manager. There's an emergency. Hang on, here we go. Can everybody make a path? From over there to where the mixing tower is, we need to get someone who's very ill out of the audience. Okay? So the security are going to ask you to make a path. Can you watch what they're doing? And make a path, please. Thank you, Richard. Go on, keep moving, you lot. I'm going to come and help. I hope they're okay. They're probably moshing too hard to one of my sons or something. <laughs> calm down, calm down, you know what I mean? Right, so where, where's the security that are going to help? Here we go, is that started? One time, right, when I was, I did a show in Vegas, right? Any of you been to Las Vegas? Oh, I'm feeding back. What did you think of it? I can't deal with that heat. Oh my God, I can't do with that heat. Anyway, I did this show, you know when you've got to do a show in the hotels and stuff like that. Are the crowd moving around, guys? Is it working? Is there a path being made? Yeah or no? Are you not moving out of the way? You are, fantastic. So I did this show in Vegas, right? And then this old granny. So you know they do like those all day drinking sessions in the swimming pools in that light for heat. So this old woman, I mean, she was a granny. She was like 85. She came to my show, front row, obviously. And um, she pissed herself, passed out. 
and security had to drag her out, like carry her out, and she pissed herself the whole way out <laughs> at one of my shows. And then I did a show in Belfast as well when two women started having a cat fight in Paris to let her high heels. They lose all their inhibitions. They get drunk at my shows so that they feel their emotion. And then all hell broke loose. Right, let me know when that path's been done. Because uh, I don't want to cause a riot or nothing with me next one. <laughs> Am I good to carry on? Yeah? Am I good to carry on back there? Yeah? All right, I'm going to go into it because no one's saying no. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is set fire to the rain.
you want me to do for you, Rob? Everybody give it up for my amazing band. Thank you all so much. Thanks for being a part of this with me as well, guys. I've been dying for my cider all my days. I'm going to have a few. Have you enjoyed it? I really hope I've contributed towards your Saturday night at Glastonbury because it's going to be a good one for you, I promise you. I have never been so moved by anything in my life and I've dreaded ever possibly being asked to do this festival, not that I ever thought I would ever be asked to do it. And um, I was up there on that platform with Emily Evis last year watching Kanye, which I thought was amazing. And I've never been so frightened of a crowd that I saw last year. And as I was watching it, I was like, all right, all right, I'll do it, I'll try and do it, I'll try and do it. And I've always wanted to do this. And the truth is my whole childhood and the career that I have was inspired by when I was about seven years old and I was like up there by like one of those lights, that, that tower there of the lights. I was probably about that far back and I saw garbage play. And I was like, oh my days, I, I want to do that, that me. I saw Prodigy that year, I saw Radiohead. And that was when I was like, I want to I be making music, not necessarily to be up on this stage, but it's amazing the way that music brings people together. And that's why I'm so grateful that you all came and stood there together for me. And this festival is so amazing and it's so magical because of the people that come and you can feel it in the earth here. I'm sure you'd agree, you just lose all your inhibitions when you're here, it's incredible and that's you. That's like people on the other side of those barriers who make this festival so incredible. And um, this is by far the best moment of my life so far. So thank you so much. It really is and you've been amazing. I'm not sure if I'm going to remember it, it's like I can't even explain how I feel. It's the most surreal thing that I've ever done. It's bizarre, but it's weird. I didn't want to come on and now I don't want to go off and I'll... 